Did you guys know that more than half of Americans are on a high deductible health insurance plan? They're on the hook for thousands of dollars of deductibles, copays, and sky high premiums. I've had a lot of different types of insurance over the years. And sometimes if you're not in the right situation, it, it is sort of like, you can tell that you're like, I'm glad I have insurance, but is this the best thing for me? For many people in the US, uh, they're concerned about the cost of health insurance and there are no good options. And it's because there is a broken health insurance system. It's like being stuck with an outdated cable TV plan and not even knowing about Netflix. But introducing Crowd Health, it isn't health insurance. It's a better way to pay medical expenses. Crowd Health is a community of people who are tired of paying for a broken system, a place where you can get a simple, flexible, and affordable way to pay for your health care. Being in the Crowd Health community can save hundreds of dollars monthly and put thousands of dollars back in your pocket. It's simple. Using the app, you find a nearby doctor in the country ranked one star to five star, scan bills and throw them away. Crowd Health just takes it from there. Then you press a button to receive virtual care anytime, anywhere. Membership is cool. It's a community of health conscious members who just want to get and stay healthy in return for lower prices. And it's flexible. Okay. Membership has a monthly subscription. Stop or start whenever you want. It's convenient for you. Crowd Health is able to offer amazing prices because of its community and health conscious members. But for a limited time, my listeners get their first month free. And after you've been a member, Crowd Health will introduce wearing a fitness wearable. That's 30 days to try it risk free, plus the fitness wearable. Just go to joincrowdhealth.com slash fit and enter bald at sign up. That's joincrowdhealth.com slash fit, promo code bald. Crowd Health is not health insurance. It's a community powered alternative. Terms and conditions may apply. Hi, Bald. It's me, Trix and Mattel, and we're working on some great, big, upcoming projects. So we're going to revisit some of our favorite episodes of The Bald and the Beautiful. This week, we're going back to our interview with Brittany Broski. Enjoy. I know, I know, in another capital. Um, in, um, Sorry, we were just recapping. Brittany Broski was seen at the Capitol yes, on yes. November. Yeah, was it November insurrection? Six, January uh, 6th. Was, November? It was right after the inauguration. Yeah, January 6th. Sixth. Brittany, yeah. was it you in the the wolf, the hooded? No, she had oh, the, the she lady served. Viking and then the, the yellow M&M costume and yes. then the lady Viking hat <laughs> yes. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And six inch Gene Simmons platform boots. Yeah, yeah. And she was seen in Nancy Pelosi's personal bathroom wiping her ass with uh, seven inch acrylics that yeah. couldn't do it, couldn't do it. So yeah. she dumped her ass, dunked her ass in the toilet water. Yes. And that's how she was caught. And that's Word. how you use a bidet. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we have somebody who's honestly, if we're, Truly, honestly, honestly, sincerely. You want to talk an actual beauty icon? Uh-huh. A woman who is not afraid to invoke the smoke and mirrors of yeah. hair and ma- hair and makeup yeah. cosmeceuticals. Yeah. <laughs> when does she get here? I'm waiting. <laughs> who is she? <laughs> also, she she's actually my neighbor. Yeah. And so Walked here. we say that cool. me, her, and Sarah Shower are a content house now. Oh my god, you're like a TikTok house, a dick doc house. A dick doc house. That nobody had asked for it. Not a single person was like, we need that to happen. <laughs> well, Monique, Monique Hart used to live on this block too, and then we would have really been a house. Mm. Or a content um corner or a block. Con- yeah, it's a content corner. Content That's what they block. call it. Yeah, yeah. Truly. <laughs> I I recently did a little bit of a uh well, I just learned about TikTok houses and stuff. And in Russia they have them as well. Mm-hmm. And there's one called the Dream Team. And I I I felt so I, I felt like that thing where you're like, you'd know just without a shadow of doubt, like, oh, you're old and there's no going yeah, back. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like when you can't understand the y'all language know that of the young very well. Yeah. <laughs> now y'all understand I'm, that no, very listen, well. Brittany's I'm just being nice, but he's like, it's never happened to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm letting you know, cause I'm 42 years old. I'm not ashamed of it. And I, I just, I really like, I've made peace with the fact that I won't ever live in a TikTok house and that's okay. Do Are you, you okay? Want to? I'm looking for my water. Sorry, oh, I'm having a little stroke lit over here. Don't mind me. <laughs> I was a stroke lit. That's a, a mini stroke lit. It's like a brank slit. Um, <laughs> a, a brank slit. A brank slit. <laughs> no, I'm having a stroke. Oh, oh my, my god! When I'm the only healthy one here, that's when you know the r- shit has really hit the fan. <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> we got sound effects, sis. You want to try one? I would love to try one. Oh. <laughs> No, that's too much. We didn't plan. Th- what if every time you hit it, it was something really negative? <laughs> and every time we racial did it, epithet. It, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh Look at you with I them to, nails. You, you, speaking of TikTok, you know, Brittany has been to the TikTok headquarters. 
I don't. Ooh. What, what is it? Is there is like a? It's what? just a bunch of like disgruntled twenty somethings in an office in Santa Monica. <laughs> they, they, I imagine it's just like a, a like a um, very modernist building with a giant plasma a screen of Anthony Hopkins going TikTok TikTok TikTok. <laughs> That's, yeah. what, that's what it is in my mind. Y'all are coming on my TikTok calling <laughs> me daddy. <laughs> I hate you. You're disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Give Can me $300. We, give me, now give me $200. <laughs> Can we talk about celebrities on TikTok? Let's we are it. celebrities you on TikTok. You are a celebrity on TikTok. I would say you are your generation's, um, what would you, are you your generation's Julia Roberts? Tammy Faye Baker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the lashes down. Those are, Thank you. Those are You're your giant, generation's Kristen Chenoweth. <laughs> Does YouTube pay for the TikTok house? No. Who pays the rent? You want to know something? Um, very, very much rivals. Um, oh. When it comes to like social media platforms is like, you can't really, you know, and we're urged in the TikTok podcast, I don't know if we can keep this in, to not talk about the other platforms because they oh, want to yeah. see TikTok as not social media, but as a place to spread joy. It, it sounds like- It is. It is. When it's in the right hands, it is. Well, I think- Okay. I mean, technology in itself is, you could argue, neutral. It's what, what it's used for. Sure. Right? Sure. Um, it's a tool for whatever evil you want to put it to. Hello. <laughs> it's a tool for whatever kind of evil yeah, fucking make it one choreography thing. you want to do. Yeah. For the people we run with, we could ruin any platform. Oh, yeah. We can Mama. make anything dark-sided. Yes. I just take okay. any tool and, and really, yeah. Oh, put it in the wrong hands. Uh, yeah. well, I hate to toot your horn, but you know, Brittany is the host of the official TikTok podcast. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) They are happy. They're lucky to have you because I do think everybody likes you. you. Thank you. And you're going to get all kinds of guests who maybe they have nothing in common, but their unifying thing is that they all like talking to you. Oh, well, that's sweet, isn't it? (laughs) That's bless your heart. (laughs) Or is it? Uh, Yeah, we'll find out. (laughs) <laughs> it's like what the, that that's not be? a good one that's like the morning radio kind that's of the that. full house intro yeah. totally yeah. totally you watch wandavision i don't but okay, i did watch I the mandalorian and and uh did you find have you learned that um sophie anderson and uh rebecca moore have released the mandalorian no but i will be checking that out Me on too, yeah. disney channel the mandaloporian the (laughs) mandalo that is the best one that is so good the idea that i mean like to could you imagine amanda lapor in a mask can't see her face until only like 10 seconds at the last at the end of the series and the whole time you're like hi guys you know what i mean yes of course so fucking i imagine like her assistant showing her on the phone like look they're doing this and she looks at the mandaloporian meme and goes okay but what is that It's on Disney. Hi. Sounds great. Hi, Brittany. The breastplate would be so big. You it, could clock her so uh, easy. Yeah. So, yeah, he's <laughs> the most clockable. <laughs> oh, my God. How are you enjoying podcasting? Podcasting is very fun, isn't it? This is like I'm living my Jimmy Fallon fantasy. And no drag. Yeah, which is sad. And you know what else, too? They know because, like, for the guest benefit, they book it at, like, 1030 a.m. Pacific time. Well, girl, I go to sleep at 9 a.m. Pacific time. (laughs) So I have to, like, get up early for the podcast. Early. It's, like, 11 a.m. So I'm (laughs) never in full beat. And it's a video. And I just feel I'm giving Owen Wilson everything. And it's just, like, I hate it. Giving adult, um, adult, uh, what's his name from the... Freddie Prince Jr. No, <laughs> giving jo- Haley Joel Osment. Yes, oh, giving adult my Haley God. Joel Osment. Yes. Oh boy, with but this it's, mullet. It's fun because when you think of podcast, I mean, you know, the video aspect to it is definitely fun. But y'all don't do the video aspect. Okay, uh, it's correct, correct, stress. Me, correct me if I'm wrong, but a podcast is an audio file. It well, is, but they love uh, to watch. All the biggest people have made it a video. Uh, yes, I, I I realize this, but but, but I mean, we're in Mary- drag together fucking 10 times a week on the internet. People can just imagine what we look like. <laughs> Do you really forget by the time Tuesday comes around what like, we look like? I can't I can't absorb <laughs> this audio information unless I have a visual cue. What it, it's like, come on. Yeah. Do you like listening to stuff? Is that is it overrated now? I don't know. Well, I, I was going to ask. Sorry to interrupt you. So, but I was ahead. like, the TikTok is like so visual. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Talk about choreography? We talk about... <laughs> We talk about um, their experience on the app because it really is an interesting conversation depending on who you're talking to. I mean, if you're talking to, you know, Charlie D'Amelio, it's like, so you dance? Yeah, you do that a lot. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much to talk about. But when you go deeper into it of, um, you know, mentally, how has this affected you? Yeah. Like, what is it like having 100 million people comment on what you do every single second of the day? That's a very interesting conversation. Yeah. 
Um, I've talked to um, Derek Cuff. Hi, Derek Cuff. Oh, I just saw him. I just saw him on TikTok. Yeah. Doing the. You know what I'm talking about? No, it's not at all. <laughs> but I'm going to act like I do and I love it. I don't even know who Derek Cuff is. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. Right? Dancing with the Stars? Now, y'all are supposed to be the pinnacle of pop culture. Ju- you know Julianne something Derek and Derek Cuff? Yeah. No, yeah. What yeah, I'm yeah, ta- yeah. What, we don't know any. Blonde male dancer. She knows a little more than me because she watches TV. Well, y'all have these obscure little references that fucking nobody clocks. I'm 50 years old, honey. I have a <laughs> lot of, like, you know what I mean? Come and on. I don't watch television. Sure. I don't either. So, you and me watch what? 90 Day Fiance and what? L- literally, <laughs> excuse me, I don't, 90 excuse me, Day excuse Fiance. Me. Oh, I'm watching 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> but I don't watch TV. But that's, exactly. That, that's above that. <laughs> yeah. I've I, seen episode. I've seen seasons one through seven. It's not like I've seen them all. I do. <laughs> I've I, seen seasons one through seven. How many fucking fiancés are there, girl? Seven a lot, seasons. A lot. Damn. And you I, know what I like about it? It's formulaic and still new every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Tried That's and true. What I like about tried it. and true. Okay. It's like every uh, classic sitcom. Yeah, I love ninety. And you know why I started listening to it? Because all my, all my favorite comedy people were always talking about. It. I was like, well, it must be funny if they like it. And it is crazy. Yeah. Amy Schumer is just like, I love 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> Everyone. Like, yes. yeah. It's like, have you been? Oh, I've just been watching 90 Day Fiance. How about you? And the other person's like, same. And yeah. I mean, that's people's whole podcast. Yeah. I mean, there's Nicole po- Byer. She loves it. A lot of people, like I see it on I see it on Twitter. A lot of people love it. I, I've never seen it. I don't like oh, should I be shows. watching the Amanda Laporian? <laughs> yes, you should. It's fucking riveting. That's not even real. Oh. Those people aren't. I hate <laughs> to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. Those people aren't real. <laughs> but let me tell you, Muhammad is real. <laughs> From 90 Day Fiance. Oh, I didn't know. It's like a random religion already. I want a divorce. Right? I was like, we're bringing allies no. to this? Like, come on. I want to divorce <laughs> Muhammad. I love that show. Do they ever truly fall in love? Do you yes. believe it? Yes. Do you like The Bachelor? I've never seen it. <gasps> Do you like The Bachelor? I am. I've seen clips of it, and just enough to know about the fun. And I've, I've read people's commentary, and I've and I've observed the, the, the craze around it. Mm-hmm. Like, I am fascinated that people allow themselves to get swept up in something that is obviously so many levels of of fake is not even the word yeah. it's like produced but right and like i was like okay so i'm trying to grapple with is this this is just on this like for real people trying to get famous right for the most part yeah i genuinely believe maybe this is cuz i'm a woman and i love to romanticize things you but are it's very a woman. much and i and you can say it again <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. she is a woman <laughs> Oh, that was the wrong button. That was not a joke. <laughs> Sorry, she's a woman. Oh, oh now that's the one. I, and even the button's pink. Oh yes. my God. I don't know why the joke was, she's a woman, drum hit. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah, that was, you know okay. what? You had your moment. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> what was Did I going to say? Did you get the clicks? Did you get the engagement? <laughs> is this all that you ever dreamt of? Was it worth it? Flop? Yeah, yes. Was it? Um, what I was going to say is yeah. um, it's so romanticized. I would like to think it's real. Okay. And Bachelor Nation is so, that's what it's called. Oh, wow. And I call my nation Broski Nation. Okay. Oh. Somebody hit the fucking. <laughs> Broski. <laughs> no, not that one. No, sorry. Broski Nation. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, crack a few broskies and real let's settle in. Yeah, for yeah. real. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I do think, I mean, because it's on television, none of it can truly be intimate and private and real. Sure. But I want to think so because they make it look so convincing. Yeah, I watched a lot of dating shows during lockdown. Um, I don't watch TV though. Well, no, no, he loves no, but in the beginning of lockdown, there's nothing to do. I had never seen Rock of Love, Flavor oh, of Love. Yeah, sure, sure. I love oh, New York. Yep. I'd never seen any of that. So yeah. I watched uh, Simple Life, never seen it. Top Model, never seen it. Oh, You'd yeah. never Top seen America's I'd never seen, you guys, I was First not, seasons, incredible. In high school, I didn't have incredible. cable. I didn't see any of this. So like incredible. watching it now, watching- Hey, was sheltered. Well, it's funny. She was, on, I mean, we were on Drag Race. Drag Race for the first three, four seasons was a straight up parody of Top Model. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. Crazy. Watching Top Model now, I'm like, oh. I mean, now I'm like, oh, Drag Race is like this. Yeah. Yeah. Tyra, though, I mean, she, have you seen the Tyra Banks talk show? Yeah, bitch, when she's like- A uh, crazy the, person. The fake fading and the shit. The worst host of a television show <laughs> ever in the history of broadcast television. She was so bad. I mean, it, it is a, it is fascinating to watch. Yeah, and we can't, we can't judge people's- Let's just say that she did things on that show that didn't age well. I, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. I put yeah. on a fat suit. Now I know the plight of the overweight. Oh, girl. Or the homeless. I mean, it was it was wild. A burka? Also, yeah. And also- She did not. Yeah. Did she do a burka? And on her, the top model, when she would do these bits, when she fainted, yes. and that- Yeah. Is, like, who she else was that scared? Yeah. Was anybody scared? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. So was I. Like, also, during the talk show, when she's having the fake seizure, and she has- uh, um foaming from the mouth and then she attacks an audience member it is 
I want to know. I want to hear the producers of that show because it's like yes. it is fucking crazy. So gorgeous. Say though. what you want about Tyra Banks, but you cannot say she's not entertaining. Oh Girl. no, 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 no! I would never. No. So much an entertainer yeah. through and through to her absolutely. bones. Absolutely, an, an absolute star. I I saw her at the American Influencer Award. She was presenting after me, and I just mm-hmm. turned around and I thought, "This is not a read. She's so tall. Yeah. I thought she was a drag queen. I thought yeah, it was yeah, another yeah. queen because I just saw her silhouette, and I walked and I was like, "Look okay, at Tyra Banks." <laughs> and she is so. Beautiful. Yeah, she's yeah. stunning. She's absolutely stunning. I'd never, I, and I watched, um, she had, there was a re sort of invigorated interest in the smize because of uh, the mask wearing during COVID. Yeah, yeah. And um, I truly cannot tell you that that it's actually a real thing. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't think it's real. Why like, are you I, squinting I, at me like yeah, that? Yeah, like I, all I you see can, is, yeah, it's the, I see no difference. You know, that's I mean, giving Jeffrey Dahmer like, everything. I, for me, there's well, this. Mama, future of drag. And there's, <laughs> like, this is this. That's that's, my, that's that's there's a thumb up my butt. That's what you're for doing for the audio listeners. He's just raising his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but there it, it, she gets. She is it like very much uh, takes pride in ha- having the credit for this uh, very nuanced and important kind of like facial um, revolution. Yeah, Can yeah. you do it, Brittany? It's just one of these. That's but a squint. you have to exactly. It's not a smile. So there's a, other words for this. Yeah. So there's bug eyes. Or no. There's okay, squint, girl. Or there's I, winking. I, <laughs> she said, right. "Come for my brand." I said, "Okay, okay." <laughs> there's other words for this. Bug eyed TikTok <laughs> bitch. Balding, a big foot, bald head. Oh my god! I introduced Katya to this thing that you showed me, which is um, just checking in when you take your pictures. Oh, you love that. Oh, I did it the other day. I did. It the other so day. Good. I did it the other it's day. The you couldn't see any of my face though. It was just well, girl, you're not dome. doing it right. Yeah. We'll do one later. No, no, no. We'll, no it was the right angle. Yeah. But this one will snatch. To distinguish like part of an, a pupil and then just mainly nose. <laughs> I love this it. one will snatch the hair back as far as it goes yeah. and have the frame start at the hairline. Yeah. You are so brave. Thank you so much. It's the courage. This is my story. How do you find the bravery to locate the courage to be so vulnerable? You want to know something? I just came from therapy, so let's get into this. Oh, yeah. I. Have to make fun Isn't of myself. A quick four hour chunk. Yeah, a quick six hour. Hey, can you just rake out? It's just day? twice a day. It's four hours. <laughs> do they have an? Um, do they have a therapist like on location in the TikTok house? <laughs> By the way, it's Sarah. She's outside Sarah Shower's door. Like anyway, me and Sarah I are just been two, feeling very yeah, good. two patients trying to like counsel each other. That's yeah. all that is. Oh it's mentally ill so hour. What, what they say at therapy, if you don't mind me asking. Well, it was just intro. Um, and but it was I very much explained. You know, like the reason why funny people are funny is because you have to make fun of yourself, or you've gone through something in order to you know that therefore is the gateway for people laughing at you or with you question mark we never know so that's where it comes from it's checking in the forehead thing is so fucking funny because it looks stupid but it's also like i've been called a big forehead tweety bird bitch my whole life <laughs> oh, your like drag that name one. that is your drag <laughs> name big tweety forehead bird? tweety bird bitch the incomparable <laughs> the legendary welcome to the stage yeah. she's your baby sister she's our baby sister she's everybody's baby sister welcome to the stage the 11 dancing toads of the big headed <laughs> Tweety Bird bitch. <laughs> Get out of Get out of Oh my god. Oh my god. Intro Shania Twain. Bam, bam, yeah. bam, but you, I, you are very striking though, and you with <laughs> Yeah, when she when she's in the hair, yeah. the cause she's a cosmeceutical witch. Thank you, girl. Yes, Thank very you. good with the makeup. Very Sometimes. good with the makeup. Yeah. yeah. When I well, it's it's fun, isn't it? Because some people do it, it is, for. She doesn't fun. like it. <laughs> it's a blast. <laughs> she's just trying to get to point A to point B. A yeah. being, been trying to quit drag for the last ten years. I have point yeah, A being Mr. Burns. Yeah. Point B <laughs> being Streetwalker. Yeah, yeah. Susan Fucking Lucci, Tangerine yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you like you enjoy? Putting makeup on. I enjoy the process of putting makeup on and I love the transformation. You and I have talked about this before. We love oh, transforming thing. into a character. And it's very fun in that regard. But doing it every day as a career, I understand. I understand. And mm. I think about it all the time, how y'all do it. I don't know. Well, so, so for this, uh, for example, today, we're not filming this, obviously, but I have um, I have a little bit of um, psoriasis in, on my face. I'm in a gown. Uh, she's in a gown. Yeah, she's in a pageant. And I'm updo. fully naked. She had me cover uh, psoriasis on her face before you got here. Yeah. So this morning, I I, I took a shower. I hadn't showered about three days. Ooh, and uh, so I took me. a shower, exfoliated, moisturized heavily, blah, 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 blah. And then I went into the makeup corner of my studio and I tried to cover this um, unsightly blemish that mm. indicates some level of like skin disease. Mm-hmm. And um, I couldn't do it. And I, I have a lot of experience with makeup. I've, I've been doing makeup for 10 years on yeah. my face. Couldn't do it. I came over here and this uh, this fucking ghoul and her uh, put she puts the brush on and it and I think you can tell that it's still there. 
So I'm really dissatisfied. I can't <laughs> tell anything. Perfect. We're uh, like here. See, oh, she, you, yeah. Well, no, because exactly you pointed right here. here earlier. That's where I was I, looking. I never pointed. Girl. I never pointed. <laughs> if we were really trying to hide it, I think Roll we would have done concealer on both sides. Also, I think you got to just put it everywhere, right? No, you, I, I do it like bare minimals everywhere. Because right now, this cheek is really even, and this cheek looks like your normal skin. Right. So this Pock one's marked. more perfect. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This looks horrible. Yeah. <laughs> This side is just fucking gutted. Rotted, decaying. Yes, horrible. Now, did you put those lashes on yourself or are those professionally I did, applied? Well, no. When I This is strip lash. Strip oh, stri- it really? Yeah. Not yeah. She strips in those. It's yeah. it's when I'm feeling like, well, because I just got this mullet by accident. Well, <laughs> I asked my, we talk about it. I asked my hairdresser to cut me some bangs. Girl, she did it all the way around. My head. She, she cut my. Wait, look wait, how short said, this said, is in the said, back. You said, Miley, hold on. Literally, I'm I said, coming. I'm coming for Ooh. your brand. But I, it's kind of sickening because when I have the black, like, line on and I'm giving like, you know, snatched brow and my lips are done. I really like it. Yeah. And, I, and I'm, you know, like all black and like silver jewelry. It's, mm. it's really a moment. But right now sitting here with you ladies and mm. with my one strip <laughs> lash kind of half hanging off, I'm feeling very much. Well, you smell terrific. You Thank do. You, you smell you terrific. terrific. What is that you're wearing? Um, it is uh, vanilla musk. It's it smells terrific. It's on Amazon, girl. It's an essential oil. Oh, just an oil. Essential oil. Was that twelve dollars? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, literally, it's like seventeen bucks. It's a, I, it's in my purse. It's a little roller. My friend Katie introduced me to it. She said all the strippers at her club wear it, and it's just Aww. a. It's not water based. It's like oil based, oh, so yeah. it stays on all night. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I think female strippers have better taste in affordable fragrances than drag queens do because the drag queens like to wear that pink sugar shit Mary, oh yeah when I, I wore that shit is because it's cheap what britney spears something no it's, no it's called pink sugar you get it at the beauty oh, supply the stores it. it's called pink sugar it's about 20 bucks on sale at marshall's too okay. it's like and cotton candy i wore i wore it for five years straight and then i graduated to like very expensive perfumes sure. top shelf sure. top shelf for meet and greets right like i want to smell the absolute best i can i bought it on i went back and looked at, uh smelled the can of pink sugar like the cat's ass. It is it's disgusting. disgusting. It is disgusting. What does it smell like? Cotton candy, vanilla, maybe? Cotton candy and motor oil. Is it, it is, just because you go for like you want that feminine? You want it's, to, she's you being, need You need something strong and, and, and quote unquote girly to be, do you know what I mean? Cover the ball sweat. We're in contact with people. I was dancing on people all the time. Do you know what I mean? So, and I yeah. smell like shit. It's also not perfume. Gross. It's body spray. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, this was perfume. Pink sugar. Pink sugar is eau de toilette, baby. Okay. Yeah, More it's, like belongs in the it, toilet. Yeah, it is. Uh, it <laughs> is disgusting. It yeah. smells like from the toilet. Have you ever stuck your nose up a cat's ass? Um, not recently. No. That's pink sugar. <gasps> the, pride when was canceled. I, when I. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That was good. That was good. No. <laughs> the beauty is any of them work. Yeah, really any of them work. Really it can, but sometimes it's a read. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shade comes from reading. It's like, hunty. G- let's give it up for Britney, who's a huge celebrity, and it's like, wah, wah, now see, that's wah. funny. That, that, that's funny. Again, <laughs> it's never not funny. funny. Yeah. What else did you learn in therapy? Say, um, well, it was a bunch of intros, but he definitely was like, um, you need help. <laughs> like, yes, and mm-hmm. um, he, it's very much behavioral therapy. CBT, so cock and ball torture. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He yes. Said, did he say you need to stop being up at five in the morning? No. Crimping your hair. Are you a late? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're one of those people. This whore, this whore. Tell them about, yes. tell them when you were your most creative. Oh, my creativity tweaking hours are from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Sometimes tweaker. up until 6 a.m. Yes. Classic, yes. And she'll it's, say 3 a.m. She'll say, it's time for a bang tutorial. It is. And she'll film a video. Shit. It is. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I'm feeling a little shamed because your, your bitch ass texting me at 2.35 a.m. Yeah. Look at these that receipts. Does happen. Yes. Yeah, look at but these I'm receipts. drinking. You're working. <laughs> That's the, you know that's what's normal. <laughs> exactly. No, it's fun. It's fun. Nobody's awake. It's just me and the universe alone. Absolutely. And I'm filming a '70s hair tutorial. <laughs> yeah. You and I'm take doing a, walk? a smoky eye. It's a little, maybe a little sketchy. Because I'm a woman. Oh, that's I never right. walk out here. You got them claws. You can scratch somebody's eyes out. Yeah. My, yeah. I had mace, but they took it at TSA. <laughs> yeah. They took it and made me throw it away. When did you start? Because oh. you're kind of a nail claw full time gal. When did you start doing that? High school. Really? I've got man hands. Girl, I've got my dad's hands. I got ting, ting, ting. Right. And so I was like, how do I make this not? There, I mean, I'm looking right now. You have a selection of rings on, three mm-hmm. on each finger. Your your hands are absolutely stunning and very Thank compelling. You. Thank Beautiful. you so much. Yeah, no, Beautiful. it's definitely like a mental thing of when I have my nails on, I feel very feminine. I feel very much um, helps the, the S- illusion. Same. In, I mean, 100% in drag. 
Yeah, oh, when sure. I wear, especially when I wear long nails, which isn't oh. often, mm-hmm. but when I wear like a long nail in a video, I can't stop. Oh, that's and, it. Like, yeah. oh, I'm pointing to everything. I'm clicking. Yeah. I'm touch. I'm like everything yes. is a hand. The, the punctuation, the elaboration, the da, 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 da. I mean, it's like it's yeah, it's amazing. well even more. And I rarely do it because what like occasion do I have to get dressed up? But um, uh, gloves. You love to wear gloves. I, well, like for the photo shoots and all that, like gloves with rings and the nails on the gloves. Yeah. I'm thinking Juno Birch, like oh, that. Yeah. It's a whole a different level of fantasy, right? Of like an thir- Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. I had thirty-two pairs of gloves made in matching fabric yesterday that I received. Yes, <laughs> and I am fucking, I am like nutting in my panties right now. Are they how long? They're opera fucking length, almost oh, up to the shoulder, bitch. Um, I can't say. Okay, because it was you know it was a thing. It was a favor. Paid? It was oh. a favor. It was, we did a favor. But yeah, I'll tell you about it there. But it okay. was like, it, they, I am so It's one like, of those under the table black market glove gigs. Totally. <laughs> Drag yeah, glove totally, yeah. gigs. But there, I mean, because you can't the first find- rule of glove club, don't talk about glove club. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Hi, it's Trixie here, and you got to ask yourself, what interferes with your happiness? I know for me, one of the toughest things is working with somebody that I absolutely hate. I'm just kidding. Um, (laughs) But it is important to kind of like take stock and be self-critical here and think, is there something that's preventing me from achieving my goals? I have learned as I get older that everything is connected. You know, uh, everything is connected to how you feel about yourself, how you feel about the situation. And I kind of live by this, and this is part of like my wellness Changing how you feel on the inside actively changes the outside world. It's like a lot of the things around you can be improved by the way you feel on the inside without actually having to change the circumstances. Does that make sense? BetterHelp will help assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in only 48 hours. It's available worldwide. Something I love about this is... There's a lot of different types of counselors and sometimes you need like, let's say an LGBTQIA friendly counselor and maybe you live in Joliet, Illinois, and it's just not available to you. Anything you share is confidential. It's convenient, professional and affordable. And you never have to travel. You don't have to go to some waiting room. A lot of times, even if you have insurance, the place that they will cover is like in the suburbs or somewhere far away. And then you're like taking this huge trip. It's just, it's not easy. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash bald. Join over the 1 million people who've taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. This fall, as you get back into the swing of things, Bespoke is here to help with the new seasonal lineup of some must-have Box of Awesome collections. Bespoke Post partners with small businesses and emerging brands to bring the most unique goods every month. I just am very indecisive when it comes to doing any sort of like shopping for myself. So I, things showing up, I love it. No matter what you're into, Box of Awesome has you covered. From autumn craft beers, I don't even, girl, I don't even like beers, but a fancy, like, autumn-y, spicy love. To cozy threads and camping gear essentials, Box of Awesome has collections for every part of your life. In one of my awesome boxes, I got this bag, this big canvas, like, bright orange bag. It almost looks like a, um, it's very, like, mask for mask. And at first I was like, it's too wild for me. And then uh, I started using it for work and I was like, I love it. I would have never picked it for myself, but I love it. To get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help pick the right box of awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel any time. You guys remember when you're a kid and you're so excited to get mail? That's what it's like to get box of awesome. It's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel any time. Each box only costs 45 bucks, but has $70 worth of stuff inside. Plus, each box of awesome, you're supporting small businesses. 90% of everything that comes in your box of awesome is a small up-and-coming brand. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code BALD at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code BALD, for 20% off your first box. And we're back. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> Would you ever go to uh, Dave & Buster's? 
I don't even know what that is. <gasps> Brittany and I went to Dave and Buster's once and it was really fun. Is it like Chuck E. Cheese? Yes, adult but for Chuck adults. Chuck E. Cheese. Meaning? I can go it's naked. It's Chuck E. Cheese and everyone's yeah, Everybody's fucking. titties out, dips out hard, dripping yes. wet. Yes. Sopping yeah. pussies. Yes. <laughs> Slug marks on the leather yeah, public yeah, leather. Yeah, yeah. God, slip and slide marks. Slip and slide snail trails. <laughs> Slug marks. She yeah. comes out of the ball pit and it's empty. Her pussy just <laughs> ate Come all of them. On. Oh my God. So I have to tell you guys, I watched, um, I downloaded a straight porn last night from uh, Brazzers. You ever heard of Brazzers? I have heard of Brazzers. Okay. Now tell me about downloading well, porn. Well, this is, I've been going through um, on my iPhone. You know how like you, um, on your iPhone or whatever, you can manage your subscriptions and yeah. like often you'll sign up for something to get a free trial and you'll forget. That's yeah. what they count on. I, I had signed up for a free trial of, um, I guess, Brazzers or, or Pornhub or something mm. that I wasn't aware I was paying like $10 a month for Jesus something Christ. crazy for like a year and a half. Okay. So this is what your money's going to people. Yeah. Please support my straight porn addiction <laughs> Every that, I, that I visit twice a year. <laughs> yeah. I've but, been watching a lot of straight porn as well. But this, I, they, I couldn't believe it. It was a squirting one. Love the squirting. They did a fake out scene like I did on my OnlyFans where they, she, they squirted a water at this dude's <gasps> face. It was a close up, no pussy. And I was like, you dirty dogs. You dirty dog the ass of the trade. It was so comical. Don't bullshit so a bullshitter. Over, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was so over the top. I was like, you really want me to continue having this boner knowing that you are just someone's off camera with a fucking uh, turkey baster or like <laughs> or a uh, super soaker just yeah. squirting the hell out of J-Max's face. They do it all the time with cum though. They'll cut to the person and it's like white mayonnaise and I'm like, girl, I, that's Neutrogena. I could, it's uh, CeraVe. <laughs> it's Mama, CeraVe. that's CeraVe. 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 It's CeraVe, bitch. I could not believe it. I have a question for you. Yes. Have you been famous during like a Pride Month yet? Um, no. It I was hope, virtual. It was I, virtual in 2020. Oh, okay. I hope you start to get doing Prides. Oh, oh my God. Fun. Imagine Brittany like host, do a number. Rake it in the dough. Ain't nobody asking for me to do a number, girl. Oh, just you wait. You doing the Sam Smith version of I Feel Love. <laughs> <laughs> Two Molly's Deep wearing a boa. <laughs> And they're like, you're, you're not even supposed to be doing a number. <laughs> yeah, you're, like, uh, you're like, turn it down. Yeah, it's all a number. <laughs> like, well, what a shame. I brought my own parade float. Ha, yeah, headline and float. Albuquerque Pride Month. Get ready Ooh. for it. You know, there was, uh, there was a gig that got canceled um, that was a radio thing. I was supposed to help in some Chicago radio station. And I was like, I don't know what y'all would want me to do. Hey, here's the next song. I'm Brittany Broski. <laughs> like, what? Do your TikTok thing. Go ahead. Uh, da, 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 da. Be funny. Dance, <laughs> yeah. monkey, dance. Okay. Well, that is uh, what it is. Yeah. You, I hope you get to do some prides because doing outdoor prides is um it's funny because it's called pride, and that's exactly what you lack that day. Absolutely. When you're on no, a golf it's cart truly in the sunlight. No pride, no dignity. <laughs> it's all about shame and suffering. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been I, I was um on um in drag in Las Vegas in the um in the summer. At noon on meth. I believe it. Can you imagine what the heat temperature of that situation was like? How long? I mean, (sighs) genuinely, can you do that? It's Um, hour long gigs, like hours and hours. It's like. Plus the meet and greet. uh, Yeah, (sighs) it's in. uh, I don't know. There's a. I haven't ever. I've reached the point where it's like you just. Your body be like, I'm leaving. You just walk away. I'll say yeah. this. Yeah. You get sweaty. You don't ever look as bad as you think you do. Well, mm. no, because and also if like, if I, like, there are times when I'm actually like on drugs, that's when it's like paranoia as well. Sure. But like, I'm always hot, always sweating. If I, if everything's fu- cool, I'm like, I know I'm probably sweating, but I like, I'm concerned about it, but it's, you know, it's not like, it's not amplified by mm-hmm. the, by the, you know, whatever. Cause mm-hmm. you know, like you get embarrassed. And then you get embarrassed about being embarrassed. Oh, yeah. And you get more embarrassed. That's so meta. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Are you a big sweater? It's Oh, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> but you know what, too? is like, yes, I'm a big sweater to the point where, like, you put deodorant under your titties. I have dread, sweat droplets down my stomach and my back. And all my friends are little skinny girls. They're little oh. skinny, tiny girls. <laughs> oh, it's a little cold in here. Oh, like anemic. Literally like fucking anemic. And I'm like, Lord, I forgot my fan. <laughs> the Sea World one with the Mr. Shit. Literally, I'm like an old Southern grandmother. Sweat. I'm about to have a diabetic coma. Like, Normalize wearing, bringing pop fans into every occasion. Well, in West We're Hollywood, it's free. not too much of like, a, oh, look at her. It's like a thing but if yeah. i'm here with the mister that goes around my neck and the fan that's oh. battery operated now that I love i've that. been places in drag where i have the fan it's funny because drag queens have the fans because we're hot and then yeah. gays have them because they're doing what the drag queens are doing because oh, it's snatch team mama but, sis hunting but, but for us we're thing. like i'm seated at an air-conditioned bar sweating yeah and you guys are just like <laughs> woo. 
Yeah. Would it yeah. be crazy if we were hot? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing the two inches of jersey fabric covering half a nipple. Yes. yes. Exactly. Fuck off. Whole prolapsed with a few ice cubes shoved in it. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. The other, the, right other, off. the other day, it was uh, we started filming at World of Wonder again, and I tell you, they they had that bitch like a fucking Minneapolis meat lo- like I locker. Loved it. It, it was, was good. It was incredible. Well, they I, should know by now. I yeah, think, they do know. I yeah. think they've upgraded their air a little bit. They had to it because I, I was like, oh my God, like my lips are going to turn blue in a minute. I am like having an orgasm. It was oh, so fantastic. Good, it was Still so Still sweated the house nice. down. Really? Yeah, of course. Is part of it like a performance anxiety, but the good kind of anxiety? No. No. Absolutely You're just not. Hot? It's just like I'm those wearing those two snowsuits in a fucking fur hat. True. Yeah, because you know? she will, she'll dab the face and so mm-hmm. she doesn't appear sweaty. And then when she takes the costume off, it's fucking it's macaroni in a pot, bitch. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds like. Ah! <laughs> like her, t- when she takes the costume off and she drops it, it sounds like a fucking octopus hitting the ground. Like, <laughs> like, like she. I'm serious. You could take a costume off and fling it at the wall like spaghetti, and it would stick. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could, I could throw that thing into the desert, and then fucking like trees would grow. It is like so, it's so sick. It's disgusting. Tell, tell her what you used to do when we used to do clubs. Tell her what you used to do overnight with your costumes. Oh, Mary, I would have to like every single thing would have to be aired out. Like every single thing, my I could ring out. I know this is gross. I could ring out my undergarments, and they would yeah. like I jumped into a pool. <laughs> like I jumped into a pool, and I, there was only. I mean, she knows about it. There's a there's a bar called Oil Can Harry's in uh, Austin, Texas. They we could walk into. They had a walk in freezer right by the dressing room. I dream right about by that. The, I dream about it's it. Nice. It was it's nice. relief if you're hot coming it's off relief. stage and you walk into. You're surrounded by beer bottles and just. Oh, loud wow. isolated like like that's, 10 yeah. degrees that's the happy oh. place yeah. because you have to go out through outside in the texas heat you know <laughs> summertime um yeah, um, you. you have to go through the outside to get to the stage and it's never you know it's packed whatever and it's just like it's so horrible but they uh, every place should have like a a walk-in freezer everywhere. everywhere texas heat is like the seventh layer of hell yeah. it is like unbelievable yeah, yeah. And moving out here i was like this people live like this where it's nice it's <laughs> so nice here yes. and it's yeah. like 78 every day yeah it's insane it's incredible and it's also like for you know people who want to do like you know the scarves and the jackets and stuff you know spring has like you know goes mm-hmm. gets very cold and whatever oh, yeah. where are you from originally texas which but which city houston and dallas i've got family in both houston places. and dallas which do you, you ever prefer? go down to s4 I do go down S4 and Roundup. I miss Roundup. I love so Roundup. Oh my God. We have to do Roundup sometimes. Brittany I and Trixie, we have to host Roundup. You can come. What? <laughs> Maybe, girl. We're supposed to kill you with tickets. What's the Roundup? Is it Dallas? Roundup, Day yeah. Cowboy Bar. Well, because Dallas. Wait, that's where I went the pageant. The page- I was in a pageant. You pulled there. the page. I was in a pageant at the Roundup. Really? <laughs> the it's roundup. a gay cowboy bar. I know. It's so cute. Oh, I know. Did they have the like? Were you, you dancing could, at the, the page? Um, they have like a balcony area. Yeah. You can see. Yeah, that's the roundup. Yeah, yeah. Miss Gay, Miss Gay, uh, whatever, whatever, at least at large or something was there. Love that. Yeah, yeah S four is fun too, but that's more like. <laughs> yeah, it's Circuit Boys. Yeah. So d- I like Dallas, I, Houston. I have the Houston gay scene is very different. Um, it's a little messy. Jr. Every uh, South Beach, JR's Houston. Jr's. Go down oh. to Jr's. Yeah. Jr's. It's very. Um, you been to South Beach? No, I haven't. Oh, you yeah, can't. Okay. No, 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 South Beach, Houston. No. That must no, be part okay. of why you love drag so much, because I bet you the Texas gays gave you a very early But you know exposure. what? Like, I think y'all forget. I just turned like 23. Like, I, the what time. What the fuck? Yes. The time, the amount of time that I've gone to like gay bars, you're not allowed in. I'm also twice 21. your age. Yeah, girl. You're 23. Wow. And we're so similar. So similar. Yeah, yeah. I could be your father or grandfather. <laughs> yeah. Um, so but it's, it's very much, you know, like, um, in high school, I was not going out. I've always kind of, you know, I've had gay friends. It's all I've like ever had. I've never really had straight man friends. But mm-hmm. when I started going out, when I was like legal, um, I was internet famous. So it's very different. Oh. I've never you had. Never had it. Uh, no. Thank, well, thank God, because it sucks. But it's so fun. No, 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 no. People don't tell you this. This is gauche. It's so much more fun to go to the gay bars when you're famous. No, uh, you get special treatment. I never you get will. special seating, special drinks, how special about, everything. How about perf- how about this? Performing at a nightclub at a new like the the ns, ns, ns nightclub when you're a freak and uh, not not on Drag Race, not famous. People look at you like like look at that freak. Look at that really? fucking freak. Oh yeah. Oh, it's rotten. make forty dollars. Just show Two up years in later, drag. No, no, no. Like do it a guest spot number. People don't give you the time of day. Two years later, you've been on Drag Race. 
fucking panties flying through the air. Screaming, 20s, dying. 20s, 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 screaming. Rooms are on the block. Yeah. I saw Kennedy Davenport at S4. Icon. Um, Before Drag Race? No, it was oh, yeah. like, well, what season was she? was on y'all's Seven, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. In All Stars I three. saw her probably 2019. Yeah, this was after Drag Race. Yes, yeah. so, and she, girl, it was... <laughs> She's fucking wild. It was everything. And she's the Dallas Dancing Diva of Dallas, sure Texas. Is. So it was everything. Toes. Toes. <laughs> yes, yeah. it was very fun. But um, it was like I got mobbed. So it was fun, but we had to be like, all right, Kennedy. Okay, now we're going to go. Yeah. Because it, I mean, and drunk gays. I love the drunk gays, but oh my God, girl, I'm trying to have fun. And you're yeah. like breathing in my mouth hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we yeah. take a picture? Yeah. Here's follow me on Instagram. Yeah. And I'm drunk, so I'm giving my phone out. I follow so many just random girl. texts and gays oh on my, my Instagram. God. And I'm sure to this day, they're like, you know, she follows me on Instagram. But I don't remember who you are. It's I in was their bio. When people, <laughs> down. when people tell me to follow them. For what? Yeah, reason. Said, people go, you should follow me. I've had people on Grindr go, you should follow me. And I say nothing. And then a day later, they're like, question mark. I'm like, yeah, I'm not following you. <laughs> like, I don't understand why, though. Get why real. Why would you do that? Why would I Oh, because of the cultural cred to your friends and stuff, right? Or whatever? I don't, why would Fucking you? Brittany follows me. Got it. Oh, yeah. Right. I guess. Well, I don't act, know. yeah, acting like we're besties or something. It's like, I don't know you, girl. I've well, I've been the biggest once. wingman. Like I, and you know, P Town Province. Have you ever been in Provincetown, Massachusetts? Mm-hmm. It's, oh. a gay, it's a gay resort town on the coast, and you like, would love it. It's yeah. fabulous. Yeah, and I've the amount of times Messy. that I've told people that Messy. they've gotten laid because they've been wearing my shirt. Uh uh-uh. uh oh, I mean, for so many times. Was the person also hot? Huh? Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> no, no, all types. How though. gross? Like twinks. Bear, you know, all the whole spectrum of gay. Yeah, honestly. Well, if it's a good, like, icebreaker, at least. That's Some what I'm guy, saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I that, love that. Like, that's always been, I've, dozens of times, honestly. It's, it's, I think that's so cool. That's worth it. Better than yeah. my technique, which is standing in the middle of the gay bar holding my soft dick going, <laughs> Someone! <laughs> it can't Someone, get hard! Anybody. It can't get hard unless you hit me! Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, I love that. I love that you're 23. That's cool. You're 23. Talk about that. <laughs> Every interview I've How ever did had. You do Here it? come, Butcher Girl. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm okay. But I imagine that because of the the viral nature of your fame, I bet people feel like they can cross boundaries with you that they yes. perhaps wouldn't with Julia Roberts. Let's say. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. I I had a an academic intellectual discourse about this on my Instagram <laughs> the other day about um. I'm not respected right. as not only a comedian, not only as a woman, but just as a person because I'm an internet personality. And I'm sure y'all feel that a little bit too. Are you of kidding like me? you're I, no. uh, well, well, because you're recognized professionally for what you do because you are professionals at what you do, but it's like you it's a joke. Like mm. your profession is, you know, to a certain extent a joke and so is mine. So mm. it's like that respect that I think that I deserve as a human being, I'm not afforded. So like when yeah. people message me, hey you fat bitch. A mor- I'm like, mortgage well, lending is me. not I'm a so sorry. <laughs> about- and I, I accept and I your said, apology. Will you come on the pod today? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you said yes, you fat bitch. Yeah. I don't know why you yeah. messaged me from user four oh five oh six oh nine though. Well, that's my main account. Yeah. <laughs> Trixie Mattel's my burner. <laughs> also, I'm a little resentful. Mortgage lending is not a joke. I never said it was, girl. You're taking words out of my mouth. <laughs> you Canceled. know I used to work in insurance. Did you really? I worked at an insurance brokerage. Get out of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, I, I, I worked at a bank for a while. Did you have to wear like uh, nylons? Did yes, you wear, business casual. Ju- but just nylons, <laughs> just nylons. Which is no such top. a good look. That is such <laughs> no a good No top, look. just nipple piercings. And oh my God. I, do you, is it, uh, could you to like, for whatever reason, if you decided to just like ditch the whole like internet comedy thing, YouTube, mm-hmm. everything, could you go back to um, some kind of professional anonymous life and, and find some kind of fulfillment i'd kill myself <laughs> no tell him the story but i could tell him the Perfect. story Did you hear my throat just now yeah it was horrible <laughs> you make so many horrible sounds when you come to- <laughs> she comes to my house and she belches like she lives here i love that and you know how Thank i you. feel about body noises yeah 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 yeah. My your boy- editor he says shit up oh Loves they it. love it and i always yep. they never cut it out <laughs> tell them the story of what they said to you at work when you got accidentally internet famous oh well i approached my boss and i was like sweet 59 year old southern lady mm. um didn't know what youtube was and mm. i was like okay i'm safe i brought it to her and i was like this is like, me it's like Pornhub. she's like oh she's like god i got it yeah. um i was like this is me uh-huh. this is the meme i created this but people are taking it and making other memes out of it so when you see me when i ate ass for the first time it's not little christian girl <laughs> me it's somebody else and she was like no okay. that that's actually i can understand that's a really good helpful and in, in explanation because i could see how that would be misconstrued sure that it's yeah. me posting Absolutely. all that yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and so i told her and she was like all right 
And then a few weeks later, she brought me in and she was like, you need to decide if you want to be a corporate professional and keep paying your rent yeah, or, or you want to be, or yeah. eat ass and me when I tasted cum for the first time on the internet. <laughs> and I was like, well, girl, of course I want to be a corporate professional. Um, but a few weeks later, she was like, I found your YouTube, your TikTok, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Snapchat. She found everything. She was Miss Sleuth. Wow. <gasps> and um, yeah. Yes. What, what's her name? Nancy. Uh, uh, Grace. Nancy Grace. Yes. Nancy Grace. I yeah. found your Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. It was mutilated though. bodies. Mutilated. Literally. Yeah. Um, and it was humiliating because I was posting makeup tutorials at the time and I was, you know, and she was like, you use very nasty language. It was humiliating. My oh, boss wow. talking to me yeah. like that. And I was like, okay. And then a few days later I got fired. She was like, but she put the reason as I was on my phone too much. Which technically she's absolutely right. You're on everybody's phone too much. Exactly. Yeah. And she was punishing me for it. <laughs> but um, yeah, a week later I got my first brand deal and it's been, you know, like this ever since. Yeah. So fuck you, Nancy. Fuck the you Lord haters. provides. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was fired from Mac. And then whenever I would go back to Milwaukee, I would go back to that Mac store and I would. Big mistake. Buy so much shit. Oh, you, oh, I was going to say, just oh. browsing. I know I would buy a lot and I'll buy a lot from every single person I worked with separately. So they oh, all had yeah, good sales. Oh. That's nice. But I was like, I could buy, you know, I could afford makeup now. So yeah. there. Yeah. Why'd you get fired? Uh, they thought I was stealing. Mm. Same for me. And I wasn't. I went on to steal kidding. later, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard. <laughs> You've been falsely accused of something. It's very frustrating. Oh yeah. yeah I just yeah. think it's funny that they said. Frankly, I also think it's a little anti-women that the, you have. You have to imagine if what happened to you happened to a man at that company. I don't think the fallout would have been as swift. You need to be a pr corporate professional with no sense of humor or delete your accounts. Like that's crazy. It is crazy, it's and it's an invasion of my privacy. Ab yes, yes, absolutely. it's your personal it life. But I'm not yeah. going to go up to my boss and be like, "Fuck you! You're you know you're crossing the line between professional and personal." I was gonna, I literally was like, "I have to pay my rent. I'll do yeah. whatever I have to do." Yeah. But you're very right. If it would have been a funny man. And he could a little, you know, oh. witty charisma chatted his way out of it. That would have yep. been a totally different thing. Yeah, they would have used him to promote the fucking bank, probably. Yeah, be out on Girl. The, the, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we know. Dry, I know. Karen from finance had a deal where she was the face of like a Australian bank during Pride Month. See, that's hilarious wow. and, and like so smart. Wow. But it's like she's so ugly. <laughs> I hope an insurance company scoops you up sometimes and you're like, they listen, better. I've worked in insurance. I yeah. can tell you exactly how this goes. Liberty yeah, yeah, Mutual. Yeah. Are you hearing this? Yeah. Uh, my Liber contact Libertita. info is <laughs> Liberina. Hi, I'm bald. Hi, bald. Um, if you know me, you know I am a bald. Actually, I started shaving my head at like 24 because I was like, I think I'm going to lose my hair and I want to know what I look like without hair and I want to know how I feel about it. Turns out I found out at 25, I loved having a shaved head, but it's important to have your options and having hair gives you options. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35. And more than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. There are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss, and Keeps offers both. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. It's low-cost. Treatments start at just $10 a month. Discreet packaging. Very nice. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. And prevention is key. I love having a bald head, but I will tell you, if you want your hair, keeping it is a lot better than getting it back. It's a lot, lot more effective, just the way the medicine works. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash bald to receive your first month of treatments for free. That's keeps.com slash bald to get your first month free. Keeps.com slash bald, K-E-E-P-S. Hello, it's me, Beverly Richards, and there's so much going on in the world, whether it's stuff you're excited about or stuff you'd rather not think about. Like, I know I'm excited because my nail technician, Devin, she started doing square tip gels, and I love a square tip. It really elongates the finger and bounces out my robust knuckles. You can't always control the vibes out there. You know, there's some things I'd rather not think about. Like one time my driver, Carlton, hit a woman on the way into the Starbucks. And I mean, you know, we didn't stop to help or anything, but I had to get my front light replaced. It was horrible. But you can always be in control with your pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ears. Mmm, I love my Raycons. I love it when I do my mall walking. I'm up at 4.30 a.m. inside the mall. Just, just... 
just just rocketing past the Christopher Banks. I have my ankle weights on. I got my Raycons in. I am listening to my girl, Tina Marie. You can't tell me nothing, girl. Whether you use them to pump up, wind down, work, or work out, Raycons are go-to for the on-the-go audio. And the new everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. With an improved rubber oil look, and they feel just so buttery. But of course, my ears are so shapely and gorgeous. Everything really works for me. And optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. These are impressive before you even start listening. You get three new sound profiles to make sure everything you're listening to sounds its best with just the right amount of bass. There's also an all-new awareness mode for when you need to listen to your surroundings instead. Hi, it's not Beverly. It's Trixie. I actually use this awareness mode when I'm training for the marathon because I do need to hear traffic, and it's pretty amazing. I don't feel safe with my ears plugged running, so it's really nice. Back to Beverly. Raycons offer eight amounts of playtime and 32-hour battery life. Oh, Raycons start at just half the price of premium audio brands, but they sound just as good. Right now, Bald and the Beautiful listeners can get 15% off for their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash bald. That's buyraycon.com slash bald to save 15% off on Raycons. Buyraycon.com slash bald. Hi, it's me, Beverly, and that is my ad for Raycon. We are ending towards the end of the podcast. Aww. Uh, 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 I thought I would uh, give you guys a moment to talk about Bimini. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I need to ask you. I need to know. Do you know about Bimini Bon Boulash? Have you heard the good news? I, it's Bimini Bon Boulash, babes. You know what I mean? Two Bonds in the Bimini don't make a Boulash, but guess what? If it you make a the, Boulash. <laughs> I fucking. So my appreciation for her started out as a joke. Um, really? Well, Explain. No, not as a joke. It only it was a shallow appreciation because sure. I I said Bimini Bamboulash. Are you kidding me? That's the fucking best name I've ever heard in my life. It makes no sense, and I do not want to know the origin story of okay. the name. And then over the weeks, I'm like, I fucking love her. Yeah. I, and then now I'm obsessed with her. Oh no! It for me, I was like, oh, she's going home. Oh, when I saw filler. the tape, when I saw her fucking tuck tape on the first episode, and I was like, yeah, really, girl, it's yep. RuPaul's Drag Race. Put yeah. your fucking tuck away. Do that messy, <laughs> like messy, <laughs> yeah, messy then, filler. Yeah. It was like that was her one blip and it has been just uphill ever yeah. since. And it is so, oh my God, I'm thinking about all of her individual looks. And I think she's safe every week. And I think that's her secret weapon because she's about to pull it out, bitch. Her well, amoeba look when she oh, came out with those stunning. white contact lenses. Speaking of safe, did you just see the uh, safety pin with uh Wig she yes! just put it's incredible. Yes! Ten thousand safety pins. Safety pin wig. Yeah. It's an it's so oh, fierce. It's she's so such fierce. a visionary. Cool. She's so great. And she's not pretentious. She's not she's not trying to peddle catchphrases. Mm-mm. She's not she just like being herself and yes. like she's and vibing. She's vibing. Purely. Just good vibes only. She's vibing. She's vibing vibes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, literally, I feel like it, I that's love a her. that's a perfect explanation is she is so there for the art form yeah it she, is an art to her yeah. and and it's very evident and but she, it's not prote- it's not like her oh no 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 you know and it's very much i mean you can tell that she loves she loves yeah. the dancing and the rapping and the yeah. release the beast Bimini! yeah she's Are silly she, silly me son sulash and she's gonna women one woo lash to the you, end yeah <laughs> i hope you get to judge drag race someday Oh, they would be so like great. Maybe or they could do a some, challenge or something. Yeah, like some kind of like mini challenge for socials or something. Yeah. Like How fun. creating social content. How fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'd be or, great on the judging panel. If you as did well. UK, would you do an accent? Um I would come in full Adele cosplay. Oh, that would be great. Just please don't say hello, Gavna. <laughs> My God. Do, yeah, do you think British people love it when RuPaul does like these super crazy no. like I think they're they're giggling and googling because they don't want to be sent home. <laughs> When she comes in and when says, When he walks in and is like, hello, mate. Are they like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'm still funny after all these episodes. You know, I'm like, telling you, I know for a fact it is the, I'm trying to think of the American equivalent. Is it like when Michelle wears Union Jack earrings? It's, no, no, no. <laughs> it's way worse than that. It's way worse I than that. I love you, Michelle, but it is crap. Like when Michelle walks into Big Brother UK and she's basically in a Jerry Spice dress. Yes. <laughs> yes. With Union Jack yeah, Talking about sausage and she's rolls like, and the tube. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. She's like the tube. Off the tube, sausage rolls. Yeah, it's like it, okay, but Rue doesn't know anything, and then except that's one phrase, one phrase. Hello, governor. That's like, I but mean, you it's know so- what's so funny is like to say that, but like they know more than Rue and Michelle combined know more about British culture than fucking I do, and that's like supposed to be my thing. <laughs> yeah. They're talking about in 1981. Do you remember this chart topper of the UK? I'm like, girl, 
Well, yeah. I mean, Rue is Rain Man with, with pop music. Absolutely. So to, I mean, she'll tell you, the, you know, what ch- chart at the top, whatever. I try to think of like, do you get offended when people do like a country accent? No, I mean. But you're not country. I'm not Southern. But that's Derek. But I mean. I mean, I guess. I, when get, I watched Barb and Star, I was like, these aren't Midwest accents. I get, didn't think they were good. Do you get yeah. offended when adults walk in with shitty diapers? Well, see, that's my culture. <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what would offend you? We're white. We can't get offended by nothing. Come on. No, I can't tr- truly like, get offended. Imagine if um, Alan Carr came here and he walked up to tables in American Drag Race with like a, a, a bag of McDonald's and a gun. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah. I'm uneducated and hate people. You know, like yeah. that would be like y'all okay. about to be racist and uh, <laughs> y'all ready for a deeply divided economy <laughs> built so that the rich can stay completely separated from the poor. <laughs> yeah, everybody like a broken system. Say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, who's getting <laughs> ready to gentrify? <laughs> you had those locked and loaded. Uh, yeah. You've been waiting to say that, <laughs> rehearsing it in the mirror. Just all the things I hate about America that yes. I think about a lot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I have a couple more questions before you go. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. All the way down the street. It uh, took so long to get here. Uh, <laughs> um, who are your beauty icons? Who just makes you want to get up and do the thing? To do the damn thing, Dolly, Amy Winehouse. Um, Dolly Levi? With this. Or Dolly Parton? <laughs> Dolly Parton. Okay. Dolly the sheep. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> the genetically engineered yes, sheep. The cloned sheep. That's yeah. your drag name, Dolly the genetically engineered <laughs> yeah. sheep. Sexy and scientific, baby. <laughs> yes. You want to shear this pussy? You want to shear this pussy? Oh. Like, okay. Mom, I'm so sorry if you're listening. <laughs> oh, please. We said it, not her. Yeah. She um, was horrified. But yes, I love, you know what What my, my uh, how about this, Gagiana? Sorry. <laughs> Jail. Jail. Sorry, the police just arrived. Federal, yeah. federal prison. Federal prison. Federal prison. Yeah, yeah, federal prison. Um, a beauty mark. The police. I love a beauty mark. I love a boop, boop, mm-hmm. boop. I think it's so cute. And I love when queens incorporate that into their look. It's like, yes, because it's art, but it's also like a real face. Yeah. A coal or a freckle. I learned from, this is not a read, Shay used to have difficult, like, skin when we were mm-hmm. doing drag and she taught me when you have like a pimple you just put like a little yeah. and now it's a birthmark in drag i was it's like so cute. oh my yeah. god i love it i love it i love it i just put my rosacea i just make it like a port wine stain oh i wanted to ask you this yeah. earlier is it rosacea or is it psoriasis or eczema it's psoriasis okay because yeah. i have eczema i yeah I, I family genes actually when i was fired um the only time i had i was just coming from the dermatologist and i they it was uh, psoriasis i was shocked though because usually oh. psoriasis is pretty like it's a nuisance to say the least, yeah. but I have a, it's light. It's just Kim a, Kardashian has psoriasis. I know. Well, I learned I that yesterday. Boma. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> you feel a little left out? Yeah, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> but it's on my face. Like you, the, you can't see it around my asshole, which is right. fine, but like it's all on, yeah. When yeah. it's on my face, it's a problem. Girl, over the summer, I had um, acute dishydrotic eczema. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> should kill yourself. The fingers, the fingers. How do you know? Is it yes. little bubbles? Yes. Ew, how do you know that? Dishydro- dishydrotic? Dishydrotic. It was these little bubbles on my, trigger warning, I guess, on my hands that were, they would explode and they itched and burned like I've a got, motherfucker. I've gotten them before. Yes. And Whoa. they, and they, it transfers between fingers. It's oh. fucking disgusting. Is it like poison ivy kind of? or, or It's like teeny poison? little clear bubbles That's, on oh, your skin. I'm going to throw up and all over you. And it's painful and gross. Oh, and they, they sucks. itch. That's, yes. It's, you're sure it's not poison ivy? No, it was and then they, dishydrotic eczema and, and I had they, an ointment. Love yourselves. Yeah. Brittany, where can people find you? You can find me at Brittany underscore Broski. Would you please spell that? B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y mm-hmm. underscore B-R-O-S-K-I. Mm-hmm. You sure can. And you can check out your new podcast, the official TikTok yes, podcast. Yes, please check out, um, it's called the For You Podcast, the official TikTok podcast. We interview guests every week talking about their experiences on TikTok, how it's affecting change, affecting culture, and it's a good old time. Come check us out. Will you please have the dream team on in, in Russia? No. Okay. <laughs> what type of content do they make? Can you describe it in two words? Uh, a hit, hit song. <laughs> hit song. I'll play it for you. It's a fucking bop. Really? Yes. They make music? Yes. Or they're dancing to me? Oh. No, mama. Hit song. Okay, period. Okay, yeah. A song to get hit to. Yeah. It's it's called um, Partying Wildly. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brittany, I love you. I love you. I, you're one of my best friends. <laughs> Isn't that I sad? Song. It's uh, not. Sad. Can I, uh, my heart still flutters a little bit when you text me, hey, bitch. <laughs> she say, what are you doing, bitch? I'll, I'll be like, like, what are you doing right now, cunt? <laughs> 
I'm like, I'm naked in my bed, yeah. crying. Get those claws out of your pussy and come over here and hang out. Yeah. I'll text her drop of a hat, like, can we just go out right now? And she's like, I'm literally in the middle of working. And I'm like, ugh, you never make an effort. But if I get the whim to go out and she doesn't say yes, I'm like, this fucking friendship is so one-sided. <laughs> Will the abuse ever stop? <laughs> no. No, it Thank won't. Thank God. Stay tuned. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.